Hello everyone, this is Lord Shadrach speaking here. I'm making a comment about our withdrawal from Afghanistan. If you ask me, instead of calling it a withdrawal, we should just call it a defeat. The Taliban's back in power. We've lost a lot of good soldiers over there. We've abandoned a number of people that are American citizens. We've turned our backs on the Afghan people. And to top it all off, the damn Taliban now has access to our advanced weaponry. Wow. Way to go, Joe Biden, senile in chief. Way to go, dude. Still, we ought to just call it for what it is. It's not a withdrawal, it's defeat. Because if we were victorious in that war, not only would the Taliban not be in power, but damn, Afghanistan would not have even fallen to those bastards in the first place. But then again, we have a dumbass in office who basically doesn't even know half the time if he's even there or not. And it's ridiculous that people actually like this guy. And people think Trump was bad. That's bullshit, because here's a thing to consider. All Trump did wrong was just have a bunch of mean tweets. Ooh, mean tweets. But at least he addressed the problem for what it is and how it is. And everyone bad-mouthing Trump and everything in regard to the release of the alleged Taliban leaders in 2018, well, that's not Trump's fault. Whoever wrote the damn treaty, now that was the guy responsible for that. Not Trump. Trump, however, was responsible for negotiating the withdrawal of our troops from Afghanistan. And it was made explicitly clear that if the United States did not honor the May 1st agreement, the entire treaty was null and void. And that's what happened right then and there. That's what happened right then and there, because Biden's dumb fuckery ruined everything. Biden's dumb fuckery has cost us Afghanistan, and now the people are going to go back to what they were 20 years ago, with the Taliban calling the shots and nobody having a damn glimpse of freedom, because God forbid if the Taliban should let women live. It's disgusting how our country has failed in its obligations in trying to keep terrorism at bay. I know a lot of people are going to blast me for saying that, but hey, who cares? I'm going to say how it is. We've lost the war in Afghanistan. All the soldiers that died over there, whether they be American or French or British or German or Romanian or whatever soldiers were contributed over there, let's just say that their deaths were in vain. And that's a sad fact right there. We lost the war in Afghanistan because our dumbass of a president, Kid, kid Sniffer Biden, I was going to call him Kid Fiddler, but that's just, you know, that would be pushing it right there. Because then again, he is a Kid Sniffer. Sick, perverted bastard. It's safe to say that America is backsliding on its obligations of being the leader of the free world. Now the Russians and the Chinese are going to be more powerful than ever before because our stupid president, who is obviously so senile, it's hilariously laughable, has now screwed up big time. And a lot of people are going to say, oh, you're just a Trump supporter, meh, 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 meh. I know a number of Democrats who have told me that even they cannot stand what Biden did. Let that marinate on your brains. You still support Biden after this fuck up in Afghanistan, then you, I feel very sorry for. Biden, Biden should just fucking resign. Biden would do the world a big favor if he just resigned. What more can I say? Biden has fucked up big time and he needs to go.